today I'm going to show you how to do this seamless AI transition in Premiere Pro. So the first thing you're going to want to do is figure out the two clips that you want the transition to happen. I have them right here. And essentially what you're going to do is you're going to take a screenshot of the last frame of your first clip and the first frame of your second clip. And the way that we do this is we go to the frame, we go back here, that's the one frame, and then you hit export frame or control shift E. And then I have it going to my desktop. You can have it go wherever you want. You can also label it. I'm going to label it one. So I know that this is the first one. And now that's going to my desktop. And now I'm going to get the first frame of the second clip, which is this one. You go one over. That's one frame. I'm going to get it two. That's saved to the desktop. The next thing you're going to want to do is go to the website that's linked in the description. Kling AI. Essentially, Kling AI allows you to make these seamless AI transitions. You're going to go here to AI videos. You're going to get your start frame and you're going to drag it from video to video. And then also what you're going to want to do here is click add end frame. Then you're also going to get your second frame and then you're going to drop it here. So now you have the start frame and the end frame. I literally leave everything else alone because it does it very well. And then literally just click generate, which will cost you 35 credits. Understand that this is the free version that I'm showcasing. I would heavily recommend to upgrade it. I'm only on the free version right now to show you guys what it's like to use the free version. And when you're in the free version, you're going to be put in a queue, which is you can see here is very, very long. I would heavily recommend if you can to upgrade to one of their plans. So I'll be back when this is fully done and generated. So once your video prompt is generated, you can look at it and you can see if you like it or not. This looks pretty good. If you don't like it, you can just go into edit. And once you're in edit, you can literally just have it generate another prompt again. But for now, we're good. So we're gonna download this. Once it's downloaded, just take the clip and import it. Now, if you're using the free version, it will be watermarked. That's another problem with using the free version. So if you don't want the watermark, you can just upgrade to the pro version. But for now, what we're gonna do, we're just gonna do this and essentially just try to match it as close as we can. And one way that you can also make it easier to try to get a close match is just play with your opacity so you can sort of see where the faces line up. And I would just try to line them up just pretty close. Um, again, it's easier to just have the scale perfect if you just upgrade to the pro membership. But again, if you don't have the pro membership and you're working on the free version, this is what you would do. Now, essentially what you would want to do is go to the last frame, either go to the last frame or the frame before the last frame. Either one usually works pretty well. I'm going to do the frame before the last frame. And then you're going to take the second clip and then you're going to match it up here. It does go there, but it's like five seconds long. So to make that go a bit faster, you're just going to change the speed and duration. What I personally like to do is I just like to change the duration this way. And let's say I want it to be one second long and it'll automatically convert the time for you. So that way you don't have to do it entirely. As you can see here, we're getting there. Now we just need something to smooth out the transition. And one thing that I would do to smooth out this transition is just add like just some simple flashes. So what we're going to do in the project panel, new adjustment layer. We create that, we drag that onto the timeline. And then after we're going to make the adjustment layer only like three frames long, one, two, three, as you can see here, I'm going to cut. Once this is fr three frames, we're going to go into effects, get a brightness and contrast layer drag that onto the adjustment layer and in your effect controls panel we're just going to essentially keyframe the brightness and contrast at your second keyframe you're going to add a keyframe of brightness and contrast you can make this as bright and contrasty as you want i'm just going to do this 84 and 51 and then at the first you're going to go back to the first keyframe reset it to zero go to the third keyframe reset it to zero. 
you're going to drag the adjustment layer over to where the transition is happening and then essentially as you can see here you have a flash into the transition what you might want to do is copy that flash adjustment layer and place it like maybe one or two times and just sort of have like a little bit of a flash montage going before then and then add a flash at the end to transfer back another thing that i would do to smoothen it this is completely optional is i would get some form of flicker you could keyframe it with brightness and contrast but for now i'm just going to use sapphire flicker i would drag the flicker on to this layer and inside of effect controls i would just turn up the amplitude a bit to like 1.4 turn it down to four and as you can see there you have a nice easy ai transition and that's how you make an easy ai transition like and subscribe for more bye